It is 516 here on this Wednesday morning. Two more lucky turkeys. Yeah, Caitlin and Clark, you gotta love that, right? <laughs> Let's send it over to KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Sarah Knox. Sarah, that is your stamp of approval too, right? Absolutely, yeah. The moment I heard it, I was just like, that is, that's actually quite clever. I love it. I love it. So Caitlin and Clark, and then we had uh, Peach and Blossom, Lucky Lucky Turkeys. But man, makes me hungry just thinking about the fact that Thanksgiving is coming up. But today happens to be the busiest of travel days. So starting off with a look of Highway 52. Things are moving smoothly. I did notice in Rochester that there was some pretreatment on roadways, just preparing for the possibility of a few flurries here, some light snow as we get later into the day. We'll talk about it. But first, current temperatures, it's 20 degrees in Rochester. Yeah, so we're still below the freezing point, but we're not starting off in the teens like we were yesterday, at least not in Roch. In Owatonna, Mankato, that's where we're at. At least we're in the upper teens. Mid-20s already in Austin, Charles City, and yes, wind chills will remain a factor. Things feeling roughly about 10 degrees cooler. Moving over to the next few hours and we will see temperatures rise, not quite as quickly as yesterday. We're not going to be getting as much of the sunshine, but we can still see it peek through here or there once it officially rises. Today will be a cloudier day, as I mentioned, that chance for a few flurries. I'll zoom things out so we can see where it's all coming from. So again, not a ton of snowfall, but snow that could make some slick roadways. We're talking very minor. I don't think this is going to impact much when it comes to flights, but it's still something to just keep in mind. We do have a little snow moving through the region. So now we're going to bump around the country just in case you are flying out to the desert southwest. The biggest concern is going to be the snow system that is moving through Colorado predominantly, but has moved further to the east. Now we're looking at the border between Kansas and Nebraska. A bit of a wintry mixture there. Meanwhile, we're seeing the northwest not too busy at all, so things looking good there. The northeast, that's looking good too. Yesterday it was a little sketchy here across the east coast, just in case there was some of that snow lingering about. Things are looking good now, and it's even better further to the south. The southeast looking great, plenty of sunshine. My mom in Jacksonville telling me that it was 70 degrees yesterday. That was rough to hear. All right, moving back closer to home, Sky Tracker 3 is going to pick up on that possibility for some light snow, a few flurries as we get into the afternoon. This is around 2 p.m., 4 p.m. Again, very isolated activity. Here's maybe where we might see a minor flight delay out of RST, thinking we're going to be A-OK, -okay, though. And then as we approach and into the official day itself, what we can we expect? A chilly one. Temperatures will be only staying in the mid-20s here as we go through our Thanksgiving day, and that just begins the cool down. You'll see that here on the seven-day forecast where the weekend is always in view. The teens, but some sunshine, return here for our Black Friday into the weekend, and then gradually we warm back up. At least there will be some sun. Yes, I am looking forward to that. Just puts a smile on my face to even just open the window and let some of that in. Yeah, for sure. All right, Sarah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.